Richard, even as a coach, does this fixture still get you your blood pumping? Oh, something we certainly look forward to as coaches, um, as well as the team. So they're a very good side. Um, been one of the best teams in the world for a very long time. So uh, we don't we don't play them very often here. So we're looking forward to it. Eddie Jones said they're there for the taking this New Zealand team. They've not had the, the best of years. How do you assess their threat? Yeah, strongly. They're a strong team. Um, we've prepared very well. Uh, we, we know how dangerous that they, they can be, um, but we know what we, how we want to play and how dangerous we can be. So um, we'll treat them with huge respect, but also not too much respect. We need to make sure that we, uh, we take our game to them, we go at them, uh, and we make sure that we, we impose ourselves. When England beat New Zealand in, in Yokohama in the 2019 World Cup semi-final, was that impact from the start, quick start, winning those collisions, has that been the message this week as well? Yeah, it has been, but I think it's pretty much the same message for most games. You want to start fast because you want to get in front. Um, but yeah, we, we're going to have to, to, to start fast tomorrow, um, right from the start, from the hacker to the kickoff to the first few plays of the game. We're going to have to impose ourselves physically and mentally because um, they're a good team. They, you let them get on top and they will take advantage. Um, but as we've seen, if you put them under pressure, um, they're as susceptible to make mistakes and concede points as anybody else. How big a help could the Twickenham crowd be here tomorrow? Yeah, it will be a great occasion, won't it? So, look, the, we'll have a huge support. Um, they'll be wanting a, a, a good performance, one that's full of passion and aggression and skill, and, and we, we want to bring that. You mentioned the hacker. Iconic image of you is, is fronting up to that hacker in, in 97. Is there something to be said for that? Yeah, definitely. Is it, is, it, is it a challenge or not a challenge? You know, we'll respect it how we want to respect it. Um, and uh, look, it's a psychological advantage for them and we will, we will deal with it how we, how we feel the right way is to deal with it. So, um, you know, I've, as you well know, you know, I have no regrets in what I did and I think it's a sign of respect for, for, for the Maori culture. So I've got, you know, we'll, we'll deal with it as we see fit. I think it's great theatre um, and it will be part of what is a, is a big day tomorrow. Is it a shame that you're not supposed to cross the halfway line and meet that challenge, do you think? Uh, yes, really. I mean, I'm not sure if I was allowed to go past the halfway line. <laughs> <laughs> no one told me that. Um, yeah, I think so. I think it's become a little bit uh, sterile. Um, and I think people make too much of when people do different things towards the hacker in their own way. Um, I think that's overplayed. It's, uh, they're allowed to do what they want to do. I think the opposition should be allowed to do what they want to do, and that's just my opinion. Often we've seen home crowds drown it out by singing. Would, would that help? Yeah, of course. We want you know it's a home it's a home game. We want a partisan crowd. We want them on our side, and if they can drown out the noise of uh, of them doing the hacker, then yeah, let's bring it on. There was a V shape in Yokohama as well. England formed a V shape. Any plans for tomorrow? No, nothing special. The the, um, the players will deal with it how they feel fit, and uh, ultimately, it's what we do after the hacker that's the most important thing. Um, the theatre. We can all stand up to the hacker. We can't all do what what happens next for the next eighty minutes. So the most important part is making sure we're focused for the first kickoff. Thanks. What happens in the hacker have a bearing on the game? Does, does it give the All Blacks any kind of edge? Do you think? That? And does a response give the opposing team any? Um, personally, when I've faced it, it's been more of a motivator than a demotivator. It doesn't make me scared, it makes me more motivated, so you, you have to use that. And it's, look, and it's part of, a lot of our guys will have played against New Zealand before, so they've seen it. So there'll be guys out there for the first time against the, the, all, the all Blacks. Um, and part of that is facing the hacker. It's, it's, part of, it's part of the game, isn't it? And we respect their team and their culture, and um, and like I said, conversely, they have to respect what other teams do do against it. It's good. They just enjoy it. We should have a smile on our face and then get into it. Richard, Eddie's altered the back row balance this week. You lost a line up jumper. How does that change things from a line up point of view, particularly given New Zealand have gone with a lot of? Yeah, we have to be smart about how we go about our business. But as you saw in 
<clears throat> in the World Cup in 19. Um, very similar makeup of back row with different personnel, but similar. Um, and uh, England were very, very good. So we've got smart callers. We've got smart strat. So we'll we'll have to be smart and clever, um, but it, it shouldn't dictate uh, how we how we play the game. Yeah, I did watch it live. I can't remember too much about it. Um, I'm not sure for what reason, but um, um, or just how physical and intense England were, um, and and that's what we have to bring tomorrow. You know, part you know we we have to front up physically, but also our skill levels have to be high tomorrow, and how we play the game has to be very good. So um, we have to match them on both fronts: the physical parts, obviously and the being intense around how we play and in really intentional about what we do. But our skill levels have to be high and we have to match them at that. And we, we have to really take the game to them. If we do that, we, we, we can win. If we don't, we, we, make it, we make it an arm wrestle. Do you think we'll learn a lot about your players tomorrow, about the side, where they are? Yeah, definitely. You know, so we've got two big games in two weeks. So, you know, effective, effectively mirrors what happened in, in 2019. So... We're, we're obviously learning all the time. This team's starting to come together. We've got some guys missing that will come back in, in the next, you know, in, into the Six Nations, leading into the World Cup. So, all this is really good experience um, for guys and bringing this team together as a collective. But also in isolation tomorrow at half past five, we want to win, and that's the only thing that matters as, as, as of tomorrow. Great stuff. Thanks, everyone. Thank you Thanks very for much. Us today. We'll Thank see you, you tomorrow.